Ladies and gentlemen, your chairman, the Right Honourable John Gemma MP. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here. And can I start by saying what uh, a great honour it is once again to uh, have uh, this evening sponsored by Abbey. Um, we hope to go on being sponsored by Abbey, even if it's called something different uh, very soon. But it's a, a great pleasure, and thank you again for being here. I'd also want to start by saying that we are incredibly fortunate, given the difficult times which uh, the industry has been passing through, to have our association uh, with a chief executive as effective as Chris has been. There is no doubt that uh, this could have been the most uh, difficult year for uh, Amy, and indeed it has been a very difficult year, but it's been rescued and been made a really solid year by the work which Chris and his team have, uh, have been. So, so, so can I ask you to say thank you to all the executives who work for Amy? <laughs> I've had the pleasure of attending the Treasury Select Committee and giving evidence on behalf of members. Um, always a, a, a memorable experience, uh, but I did find Mr McFall um, a, a very willing host and uh, I do feel that Amy had um, a welcome hearing and one that was balanced and fair. John McFall is MP for West Dunbarfinshire and Chairman of the House of Commons Treasury Committee. Between 1989 and 1991, he held the position of opposition whip and became opposition front bench spokesman on Scottish affairs. And that's a post he held from 92 until 1997. In 1997, Mr. McFall served as a government whip and in July 98, he was appointed parliamentary under secretary of state for the Northern Ireland office. I think he's best known to us in terms of his work on the treasury committee, a, a position he assumed in July 2001 when he was elected as chairman of the House of Commons Treasury Committee. He was re-elected to that post in October 2005. And recently, amongst its many, many uh, undertakings, the Treasury Committee has been prominent in its investigation on the banking crisis and the credit crunch. The Treasury Committee won the award for Select Committee of the Year 2008, for, indeed for its working on, work on the banking crisis and its review of 10p tax. I think there are a few parliamentar parliamentarians as distinguished as Mr McFall. Um, I am delighted that he has agreed to speak to us this evening. Um, John, we thank you very much indeed for giving up your time and we are delighted you were able to make us. Could I please introduce you to our speaker for this evening? Thank you. Chris, thank you very much uh, for the invitation. I'm delighted to belong here with a number of my colleagues. I've got two of my colleagues from the Treasury Committee, Sir Peter Vigors uh, and Andrew Tyree, and I see uh, Peter there and Malcolm. So there's a few politicians here tonight. When I was speaking to Chris at the beginning, he said, there's a lot of small businesses here, so address your remarks to small businesses. Well, can I tell you, in my early life, my parents had a newsagent shop in my hometown of Dumbarton in 111 College Street. And uh, I used to serve the shop. I was a newspaper boy and I was serving at the back of the counter. And I remember this day, this individual came in and he asked for a box of matches, Bryant and May matches. And I gave him it, which was a penny or tuppence or something. And he went out of the shop and then came back in. And he says, it says here on the box, that the average number of matches is 31. He says, there's only 29 in this box. What do you do? So I didn't point out what the word average meant. I went to another match box and took out two and gave them, and I've had a happy customer ever since. <laughs> so that was at 111 College Street. And then when I became Member of Parliament, believe it or not, I moved up the street to 125 College Street for my parliamentary office and it's still there. And even now you still get some awkward customers. I had someone contact my office six months ago in a very aggressive uh, way and asked for councillor, which is the term for council in Scotland, councillor McFall. And my secretary says, Mr McFall is a member of parliament. 
He is not a counsellor. To which he says, well, he will bloody do. 